This is a highly requested video and I'm glad I'm finally making it. This video covers 10 affordable schools for international students in Canada. So stay tuned to the very end. Some of these institutions are as low as 3,300 Canadian dollars per term. Hey guys, it's your girl We Screen back again with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for joining. Please consider subscribing below and ensure you turn the post notification bell on as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know the vibes, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to share with your friends as well. So this is actually a very exciting video for me because I've gotten several requests from people on Instagram, Facebook, email, DMs and Twitter as well to make videos regarding um, affordable institutions in Canada. Um, this is mostly for people that are trying to immigrate or people that are trying to study in Canada. I'm glad I'm finally making the time to create this video for you guys and I hope you enjoy it to the very end. So this video is about top affordable institutions or schools for international students in Canada. Some of these schools goes as low as 3,300 Canadian dollars per term and I think it's very very reasonable considering the cost of schooling in Canada is very high. Some of the pointers to note is I ensured all the universities and colleges I'll be listing in this video are publicly funded, which means they are designated learning institutions and you'll be eligible to apply for a study permit once you gain admission to any of these institutions. Another pointer to note is that some schools might be a designated learning institution, but the program might not be eligible for postgraduate work permit. So ensure you check that that program is eligible or you can also reach out to the admissions department to be sure that that program is eligible for postgraduate work permit. The third point to note is that all of the costs stated in this video are tuition fee only and does not include other miscellaneous costs that might come with enrolling in a program. Also note that the cost of each program may vary so ensure you check the cost of the program you are applying for. Another very important pointer to note is that all of the tuition costs mentioned in this video are per semester. So you need to consider how many semesters you are going to be having in one session or in one year and calculate how much it will cost you for the program. And last but not the least, which is also very interesting, is that all of these institutions offer graduate funding and also international scholarships. So you can also check on their institution website to find out if you can be eligible for any international student scholarship. In no particular order, let's get started with the list. The first university I have on my list is University of Waterloo. University of Waterloo is located in Ontario, Canada, and they offer graduate and undergraduate programs, which any one of you guys might be eligible for. For undergraduate programs, some of them goes as low as $3,000 and $64 per term and the graduate program goes as low as $6,948 per term. I think it's very reasonable for a Canadian university considering a lot of university, high ranking universities are also very expensive. University of Waterloo prides itself for having Canada's largest engineering school and is ranked among the top 50 engineering schools worldwide. The second university I have on my list is Brandon University in Manitoba, Canada. The undergraduate program starts from $4,302 for about nine hours of credit work. So in case you don't understand how that works, some universities charge tuition based on the number of credit or the number of hours of courses that you're offering that semester. If you're offering about three courses that has three hours each, so that would be nine, and your tuition will be based on nine hours of credit courses. And if you're offering about five courses and each of them is three units, then that would mean 15 hours of credit. So your tuition will be based on the number of credits that you're offering that semester. So for Brandon University, if you're offering a nine hours of credit work, you might be paying about $4,302, which is very reasonable for programs in art, and they have a lot of other options as well. For their graduate program, they also start at a very low cost of $4,940 for 12 hours credit as well. I think that's actually very reasonable for a university in Manitoba. Brandon University is committed to ensuring their tuition rates are among the most affordable in the country. The third school I have on my list is University of Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is located in Saskatchewan, Canada, <laughs> and their graduate tuition goes as low as $3,950 per term, and it's 
they usually offer different programs for graduate courses so if you are going for a thesis based program or a course based program then that would also determine how much you'll be paying for your tuition as a graduate student and the undergraduate tuition goes as low as six thousand seven hundred dollars total for the entire term so this one includes the entire miscellaneous cost and all of that university of saskatchewan offers special tuition rates that are very competitive The fourth university I have on my list is University of Manitoba. University of Manitoba, as, it, as the name states, is located in Manitoba, Canada. The undergraduate program starts from as low as $5,620 for a 10-hour credit course per term. And the graduate program starts from $5,847 total for a term. I think that's also very reasonable for a total course for graduate program. University of Manitoba has a diverse cultural community of students from all over the world. Another very exciting university I have on my list, which is very, very popular for international students, is Memorial University of Newfoundland. Memorial University of Newfoundland is located in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And I actually have special interest in this university because my sister attends this uni. And I also have a friend that's schooled there. And I know definitely that regardless of the fact that they offer a low tuition cost program, their education standard is world class. So I can guarantee this university. And also they are based off in Atlantic Canada, which means at the end of your program, you might be eligible for Atlantic immigration pilots, which would make you qualify to get your permanent residency very easily. Um, the undergraduate and postgraduate program goes as low as 5,500 Canadian dollars total per term total cost again. That's actually very affordable if you think of it. Memorial University offers variety of programs in art, sciences, business administration and a whole lot of options. The fifth university I have on my list is the University of Winnipeg in Manitoba. This is also a very popular university for international students. Their undergraduate program goes as low as $8,820 Canadian dollars for an 18-hour credit course. I don't think any student would have up to 18 hours of credit course, but that would be the maximum tuition you would have to pay if you um, are enrolled in a program for undergraduate course in this institution. The graduate program goes as low as $7,000 for each term as well, so I think it's also very reasonable. Another good budget university for international students is Acadia University in Nova Scotia. You would be expected to pay about $7,500 for graduate and undergraduate programs and this school is also located in Atlantic Canada which means you will be eligible for Atlantic immigration pilots at the end of your program and that would help you get your permanent residency as quickly as possible. Acadia University offers entrance scholarships and you'll be automatically considered for them after you've been offered an admission. So it looks like I've only listed universities, universities and universities. So uh, I don't think everyone is interested in going to a uni. Some people might want to go for colleges or maybe enroll in a postgraduate diploma course or even diploma courses as well. So what I would do is I would dedicate the last three schools to colleges. I hope that's fair. It's not very balanced, but maybe I can make another video if you guys want. So the first college I have on my list is New Brunswick Community College. This is one of the most affordable college in the whole of Canada. Exciting, right? The tuition cost goes for as low as $4,334 per term, regardless of the program type. This is very reasonable and they have a whole lot of variety of courses that you can enroll for. It is also worthy to mention that New Brunswick is in Atlantic Canada and qualifying for permanent residence is much easier there. Another very affordable college is Holland College. It's located in Prince Edward Island. You'll be expected to pay about $5,000 per semester, although you might not have a lot of variety of courses to choose from. But I think this is also an amazing institution that you should consider when you're looking for a program. The last school I have on my list, but not the least, is College of Northern Atlantic, located in Newfoundland and Labrador. CNA is also one of the cheapest colleges in Canada, in fact, probably the cheapest, because the program goes as low as $3,300 Canadian dollars per term. And they have a whole lot of programs that you can choose from. They have diploma courses, postgraduate diploma, certification courses, and a whole lot of options that you can choose from. I think this is very amazing. I'll ensure to link all these schools in the description box so you can go check them out. You can 
search for any of the schools that would suit the kind of program you're looking for and the location and you can enroll for them remember i had mentioned that these costs are only the tuition costs does not include other miscellaneous costs but i also drafted a list because i know some of you guys might be interested in knowing an estimate as to how much you would spend per month for your living cost so your living cost would depend on the location a lot of other factor and your frugality with your spending so but you could also estimate to spend about a thousand dollars per month this would include um cost of accommodation which could go between 300 to 700 dollars per month other utilities which would be about 150 dollars probably your phone bill as well which might be as low as 50 dollars then there would also be a discounted bus pass that you could get as a student your bus pass might be about a hundred dollars monthly another cost you might estimate to spend on a monthly basis would be feeding of course food is important so you can estimate to spend about 150 or 200 dollars on feeding depending on if you prefer home food meal or you have to order food outside so um estimate about a thousand dollars to spend on a monthly basis but again you can easily finance your living costs if you are working part-time as a student you are able to work up to 20 hours per week so you could earn up to a thousand dollars to finance this expense that you would need to incur on a monthly basis i hope you guys find this video useful if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing below and ensure you turn the post notification bell on as well don't forget to share with your friends and i'll see you guys in my next video in the meantime stay confident bye, -bye.